welcome back to the vlog. I decided not to wear makeup today and I'm so glad because I'm about to go out in public and I have to wear that face mask and I just, I do not like the idea of having makeup on and a face mask on because I've been actually touching my face a lot more than I'm supposed to like just little things and so my face is breaking out. But I have to run these errands today so I actually waited and kind of like clumped them all in together so that I could do them all at once and I could like be, I could make sure I'm being extra cautious. Um, I have to go to like the, my PO box. I have to check something because I have uh, something that came for a collaboration in there. I have to drop something off at the UPS store for work. Um, it actually was supposed to be dropped off yesterday but I like told them I have to wait till today. Um, let's see, I have to go by the bank for my husband. It's just, a bunch of little things that like need to be done. I need to take our recycle out. There is literally nowhere else to put it. It is that full. We have like waited for, cause it's just recycled, it doesn't smell. Um, but I have to take it out today. So like, I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. My mom made this mask for me. It's purple. Actually has like the full filter, the full nose piece and everything in it. This is the first time it's leaving the house. So I can still kind of like touch on the outside and stuff. Um, look at this though. She's so freaking talented. It has a filter in it and everything. It's got the nose piece. We'll see. I just, it feels so, it's like so depressing to actually have to wear that. And then I've got my Clorox wipes and my Germex, even though I usually carry those with me anyway. So, also I have to get gas. Like I have to do everything and go all of the public places that you would not want to be right now. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, God, and I keep touching my face. So, oh, that's what I'm gonna try and do. Sam should be home relatively soon. I'm already done with work for the day. We are on shortened hours. And I actually told him the other day, I feel so wrong to feel so blessed during this. But actually, Sam and I, like, uh, we got an email. We're gonna be able to go back to a full normal schedule soon. Still working from home, but we're gonna go back up to 40 hours um next week which is such a blessing we're so excited to, and then also like sam got a job and all of this chaos and i told him i was like i just feel so guilty um because my older brother is actually in the hospital for something completely unrelated to covid19 he's gonna be fine um they're trying to get him out in the next like three days or so uh, but there was a time yesterday when we weren't sure if he had COVID-19 or not. And like to see the process of what happened just when they found out that like two of his coworkers had tested positive until his test came back negative was freaking crazy scary. So I told him I feel so, so wrong to feel so blessed. And like when other bad things are happening to people in the world and like, for the most part, our family has really good health. Like my brother's expected to make a full full turnaround on what he's got going on. Um, and you know, we're, we're getting all these blessings and I was like, I just feel so guilty and I feel like I shouldn't talk about it. So it's just kind of been weird to like vlog because I've been so happy lately, even with this situation. I just, I feel so guilty about it. Um, but I, I still wanted to share it with you guys. So I need to go ahead and get going because I've got a lot to do. I really don't want to have to go to the freaking gas station. I can do this. I can do this. I don't have crippling severe anxiety right now. No, it's fine. It's fine. Hello. So we survived the outing. Zeus got a bone. I went down to my mom's and Zeus got a bone from her. He always does because, you know, grandmother of the year. She's got to give her baby some stuff. And he's literally just walked around with it in his mouth since we got home. Like he doesn't know what to do with it. Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go eat your bone outside? Is that what you want? Okay, let's go outside then. I, I don't I don't know what else he would want. I don't know why he's acting like this. You, you've eaten bones before. Like, you know how to do this. Very simple. So tonight, I am making lemon thyme pork. I went to Bilo and that was one of the things I got. Um, God, my skin is bad. It really is frustrating me. But anyway, um, it's a HelloFresh meal. Like, the original recipe came in HelloFresh, but... I'm gonna be recreating it, like basically doubling it because I thought that last time it was good, but there just wasn't a ton of pork. Um, so I'm gonna be like replicating the meal 
but making more. And I'm excited. Sam shouldn't be home actually for a few more hours. He was supposed to be home by now, but work is taking a lot longer than he thought. Um, but these are his last two days, like starting tomorrow, like that's his last two days of this job. So it's fine because after this, he's on a set schedule and we don't have to worry about it anymore. So in the meantime, I'm going to prep tonight's video and then also prep a blog post that I've been trying to get up because my blog is still down after changing my name. Like there are still certain things that are just not, like you would think that just changing a domain name would be just changing the domain name, but it's like, it messed with a lot of other things. So the blog is still up, but like certain things are down on my end. So that's kind of when I'm gonna be working. Oh, and I will share the recipe. If I don't share it on here, it will be in the description bar below. So this is what the sauce looks like before you put the sour cream in there. It's literally like made in the same pan as your pork right there. And then, mmm. No, it's not healthy. The sauce is not healthy. If you were looking for healthy, then Mary, sorry, this is not it. Okay, so let's see. This is some Paula Deen extra butter type oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. I think the recipe is actually, it's like four. Okay. There you go. That's a lot. Yeah. Then you're just gonna, gonna. This will make it a little bit thicker. melt down for a second. It is so good, you guys. It looks really disgusting. I mean, definitely is not the most like visually appealing dish, but. I don't know. Once it's all together and plated, it's really nice. It looks fine. Okay. Goodness, all right, guys. So, I have had the world's most frustrating day. Literally every technological error I could have, I have had. So, I need to vent for a second. I'm gonna vent about it. Let's see, I need a minute. By the way, if Zeus starts going crazy, it's because there's people here, like the Duke Energy guys cutting down the tree that's impacting the line. So, basically, since I changed my domain name, which should have been so simple, um, I changed my domain name on my blog from she'sthatgirlguy.com to mariahrobinson.com. I didn't trust myself to do it, so I let the Bluehost people do it. I have had so many blog issues since then and I keep having to go back to Bluehost and they're like, we don't see any issues. And I don't I don't know what to do. So basically I changed my blog name from She's That Girl Guide to Mariah Robinson. All of a sudden, every time I open a new browser, whether it's Chrome or Safari, it basically pulls up my blog and it looks broken unless I clear my history and then it looks perfect. I have turned off everything I can to think of that would be like, you know, oh, it's blocking a pop-up or something. And it still has issues. You can see it on your phone just fine, but not on the computer. So then last night, my theme used to be really cool. It had like, if you go, went to the homepage of my blog, there was like a big, like, I don't know, a uh, horizontal image. And then there was also like a smaller vertical image either to the left or the right on top of that. And it looked really, really cool. All of a sudden, the ability to add in that second vertical image just went away. I've emailed a company that created the plugin for that vertical image. And basically they've just been like, we don't know how to help you. And then on top of that, my SEO stopped working and I just paid like $89 recently to get like to optimize the SEO plugin and now it's not working. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm about to pull my hair out all because I changed my blog name and I have no idea what to do because I don't, I'm not tech savvy enough to even know where to start. And like the confusing thing is like, Bluehost is the hosting website and then WordPress is my whatever, like my website is a WordPress blog. And so I don't even know who to go to for these issues and everyone who I've gone to is just like, I don't know. Woo, I did it. Yes, okay, so. Oh, I need to go sit outside. It's really cold in this house. But Sam's always like, it's hot. 
Ew, it's cold out here too. No, nope, that's not gonna work. So, I had, when I had to message my like third company, I mean, you guys probably don't even care about this, but I'm gonna update you anyway. I've picked up my face, God, okay. So when I had to message my third company basically saying, your stuff isn't working, help. I was like, mm, no, something's not right. Something's not right because there's no reason that all of a sudden everything's just not working. So, and then one of the people, like the support people was like, try this. And they basically told me another plugin and basically it troubleshoots so it disables everything on your website and then one by one you have to go back in and see if that was causing the issue. And it took me like 45 minutes, but I found the issue. And we are back up and running. I am a genius, just kidding, I'm not. But I'm very happy and Sam and I are having enchiladas tonight. Uh, my mom's actually making them. I will see if I can get the recipe for you guys. If I can't, I'll put it on my blog later. But I am so happy I could like, what is going on? I am so happy I could literally like punch the ceiling. So, so I've been back in the hole in my office for the last three hours, but I have things to do. I gotta work out. Got to... What was something else? Gotta eat dinner, gotta shower, gotta get tomorrow's video edited, gotta get Saturday's video edited, lots to do. It's been on hold, but I got it. I'm so happy. All right, so Samuel, okay, has been drinking these. They were sent to me. They were sent to me, mister. He has literally been drinking like two or three of these a day, but let me grab, hold on. This is actually what I went the other day to get. So this is not sponsored, like a sponsored portion, but they did give me a discount code for you guys. So, which ones do you like? You like this one so far, right? I've only tried these two, yeah. I so Sam really likes the lemon lime one. I'm I not a big fan. I have tried the passion fruit one. Yeah, but I like this flavor. I like the lemonade one. Lemon lime. This one's lemonade. good. Why did you not open, when you open this box, why didn't you pull it off the same way you pulled off that Oh, one? I don't know. I didn't do this, you did that. Yeah, you gotta pull it. Anyway, so I'll put the code up on the screen. If you wanna use it, it's Mariah C. Robinson. You can get 15% off and I'll put a link in the description bar below. Um, it has eight individual stick packs, but what liquid IV is, is you drink one of the little packets and it's supposed to be equivalent to three different like 16 ounce glasses of water. It's so cool. It uses cellular transport technology is what it does. So you're like getting super hydrated. So that's why Sam's been drinking it a lot because he's- I'm, I'm terrible about he not drinking water. Stays, I'll go all day without drinking water. Yeah, he not. stays dehydrated. Like I, I'd probably say 80% of our relationship, we've been together for five years. 80% of our relationship, he has been dehydrated. So, you actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this one off. Um, but, he drank some of these, but I actually like this flavor more. But, this is the lemon, and it's gone. What we actually should do is combine some of the boxes. Isn't it, the thing that I've noticed that works best flat. is to just put in like room temperature water mix it or like put it in a bottle and shake it up really good. Mm -hmm. Then try to put ice. it into ice or like mix it, then stick it in the fridge or something for a few minutes. Yeah, don't do the ice first because you do have to mix it. Like yeah, it's, it is a, a, it's a powder. It's so. a powder. Also, they do have a sleep one. We haven't tried this one yet, and it, but it's blueberry lavender, so it should be good. We should try this tonight, but we will keep you guys updated um, if we continue, continue to like the like sleep one, but so far, Berry is my fave, and lemon is Sam's fave. I cannot wait to try this one. Is there eight in here too? I'm sure it probably is. Cool. Okay. So, I know you guys have seen probably majority of me, Zeus's, because the people painting the fence, people across the street, they're paying people to paint their fence. And there's a whole group of them, and they're like, they've been over far, but now they're, they've made their way in front of our house. Also, where is that picture? Look at this, you guys. It doesn't say where she lives, right? Okay. Hold on. Don't, don't cover her name up, too. Okay. Yeah. So, her name is there. Our neighbor, their daughter came and gave us this sweet little card. Uh -huh. 
look at this. She came over and it says, Dear neighbors, I'm doing a project for school. We're supposed to do a letter to a neighbor. And guess what? I chose you. <clears throat> in case you don't know me, I'm the girl who asked to play soccer. She like plays soccer in our soccer goal, like Sam's soccer goal in the backyard. I'm in third grade and I'm eight and a half years and my birthday is in, um, oh, her birthday is July 1st. Yeah, near Braley's. She's almost nine. She's just me. I love doing art and dance. My mom showed me on Instagram that you do fashion. I, on the other hand, love drawing fashion designs. Love your neighbor. And then she put her little name. So cute. So we have a lot to do today. Like, or I have a lot, like for blog stuff. But I have got to get myself tanner on. And then tonight we have to do a grocery pickup at Sam's. We've never done the grocery pickup at Sam's Club. It'd be very interesting. We got literally everything we wanted except for laundry detergent and bleach and my mom said like if we run out she has some um and we actually got it like last night was when we were doing it and we got it for today so fingers and toes in the last crossed. slot of today the seven yeah the seven o'clock to eight but walmart has opened up their grocery pickup now i don't know if i told you they used to only do it for two days i can now do a walmart grocery pickup for monday so I've actually Stay thought further ahead because they're booking up. Yep, I've thought maybe we need to come home after we do Sam's Club and look at what we need left because we still like. Excuse me, Sam and I don't do a lot. Oh my gosh, of canned vegetables. We do a lot of fresh vegetables. Like we, I mean, at least I know I prefer corn on the cob over like the only, the only canned, canned corn that i like like more sometimes is green beans because canned green beans have like salt in the preservatives mm -mm. which see and i like fresh green beans but we love asparagus like we don't do any kind of like we have fresh asparagus and then we're pretty big meat eaters so we like you can't keep that for that long and like there's certain things you can freeze like we freeze our chicken we freeze our ground beef but like you can't really freeze steaks can you no no yeah so yeah, like we love steaks and so it's been been hard to kind of keep all of that but um luckily a lot of grocery pickups are available so what i'm trying to say is we have a lot that we're doing so we're gonna close the vlog out here come say bye i told them about your news because by the time this goes live your news will be really you want to tell them no you already told them none to tell, tell them i start my new job monday mm -hmm. today's saturday so and tell them what you're doing or no um I mean, I don't want to go into like great detail because there's not that many companies around us that do it. Finance. Yeah, it's like There we a, go. <laughs> yeah, it's like a... Where he's doing fi finance. Yeah, we're working for a automotive financer. That's... Yeah, it's really exciting. He actually be working with my dad. Um, Someone. Work for the same company. The same I would company. I never see him at Yeah, work. same company. Yeah. But it's really exciting because this is something Sam's never done and actually I've done it. Like... I've worked finance before and I, I liked it. So I, he's excited, but Monday is the first day and it's been kind of awkward. Like I've said, I said this in the earlier part of the vlog. It's been like weird to be excited about it, but it's an exciting thing. So we'll talk to you guys later. Sorry we suck at the vlogs. Peace. You don't want to show them my cool table I got? No, I, I don't. No.